Hey everybody, it's Ivy. Welcome to the show. I'm just saying. So, so many things are going on lately. Lots of stuff is going on. What's going on? My goodness. What isn't going on? In the background, you're listening to the late, great Marvin Gaye. And he's singing a song that's pretty apropos for today. What's going on? Anyway, um, we got to find a way to bring some loving. Anyway, so, anyway, um, I'm talking about a couple of things. I haven't been able to do my show. I've been very, very, very busy, and I just wanted to take time out tonight before I go to bed. Yeah, I got my scarf on. It's all right. You know, I do go to bed, too. Um, at least I don't go that often, but I really need to go more often. Anyway, I need my sleep, but I don't get that much. So people are asking a question, where is Donald Trump? In the midst of all of these things that are happening on our uh, American soil, if you will, and you know, even our, um, you know, Commonwealth places, Puerto Rico. Um, so with all the flooding and California wineries burning down, um, so I guess California drinkers, those of you who love the California wines will not be getting, if you do get it, it's going to probably be sky high because, um, I can't imagine, you know, what these people must be going through. 40 people dead. Um, Man, it's been, these last couple of weeks have been unbelievable. Um, anyway, you know, my prayers are with everybody for this because this has got to be a scary something. We haven't even had our winter yet. I keep saying that. I'm hoping that it's going to be okay. In the meantime, we people got to go from there to someplace. So, you know, of course, Puerto Rico is most likely going to come to New York and Florida. The question on the news was, are we going to be ready to um, bring all the people in? Well, they weren't ready to bring all the people in from Katrina either. And, um, you know, and even here, you know, they're trying to get liaisons, you know, for Puerto Rico and help and all this stuff. And listen, we got a, a lot of people in need of help. A lot of people are going to be in need of help, including the people out in California. So uh, I don't know what to say. Um, but where's... Where's the president in all of this? I'm tell you where he is. Now he is sitting somewhere trying to undo all the things that President Barack Obama did. That's all. He just wants to do all that. He wanted to be the president so he could undo everything that Barack Obama did. Now, I ain't calling Mr. Trump no racist. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm not calling him a racist. Yes, it is a fact that, um, you know, he's trying to undo everything this black president did. Black, even though I know he's, you know, mixed, but you would describe him as a black man. He describes himself, I'm probably sure, as a black man. So this guy, Donald Trump is trying to undo everything that Barack Obama did, especially the health care. Um, and that's his main goal, his main drive, because probably inwardly he's saying, how in the world did this nigra get into office? And I'm going to undo everything that he did. He could have made peace in the Middle East. It wouldn't have made any difference. He would undo the peace in the Middle East if that had happened. And I'm not saying that, you know, President Barack Obama did everything that he needed to do because he didn't. Um, and you'd be foolish to say that he did the best he could. He didn't have anybody, you know, they called the man a liar. They called him this, that, and the other. I mean, they said all kinds of, he was a monkey. His whole family was a monkey. You know, they were going to be militants with their guns and their rifles. You know, it was just crazy. But this president is very thin skinned, very sensitive. You have to walk, tread lightly on his, his, his feelings because he doesn't want anyone to hurt his feelings because you know, when you have money, you know, you hurt everybody else's feelings. They don't hurt your feelings. I got it. However, this is not the easiest job in the world. I don't even have to be president or ever want to be president of these United States because somebody's always going to be unhappy. My daughter who works down on Fifth Avenue said they was throwing toilet paper and paper towels at the Trump Tower. 
you know, I mean, really? Can you please take those to that toilet paper and paper towels and send it to Puerto Rico and some of the other places that need that? You don't need to be wasting it throwing it on hand. He's got plenty of paper towels and, and toilet paper. Anyway, I get what you're trying to do, but come on, people, let's think for a second. All this protesting, spend your time and energy. You know, really, there's other things that need to be done. There's other things that he need to do besides try to undo everything that President Obama did. Now, he may not be a racist, but I'm going to tell you like this comedian said, you may not be a racist, but you sure are fitting into that Klan suit quite well. Because anytime, you know, you as a leader of one of the most powerful countries in the world um, have such a, a truly a nonchalant um, cavalier attitude about uh, the people. And I understand it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming to be a president. It's not overwhelming to be a leader of anything and to try to get things done because all people are always going to have something to say. They're always going to have some way of disliking you. And I get it. You're, you know, President Barack Obama did the same thing. I mean, people didn't like him. People hated him. Not because of he was a very he's a very smart man, but smartness when it comes to being a certain color has nothing to do with anything. Nothing, as you can see, has nothing to do with anything. Your job is always going to be more difficult. You're going to be um, chastised a lot more. You're not going to be able to do things to try to even help your own people without being a revolutionary or a militant. Hey, I've been called that. I'm proud of it. It doesn't really bother me. You know, as long as I can sleep at night, my integrity is not, you know, compromised. My character is not compromised. They'll take it, take things in like they always do. They can twist it up into any kind of old way that they want. So anyway, I think that if our president could just do some of the things that he needs to do as president of the United States and stop trying to undo the things that uh, President Barack Obama did and just maybe try to add on to some of the things that he did, it would be better. I understand it was just traumatic for some people to have a black president. I understand it was just like the, you never thought you'd see the day that, you know, the, the men that you hung from trees with uh, someone who looks like him could actually be you know um, the leader of the free world the free world nothing here is really free trust me um, but you know still the same you never thought that there would ever be a day that you would ever see someone who was black being president of these United States but I guess it's okay because um, he wasn't really descendants of slaves you know his mother was white and whatever but you know we've already gone over all that stuff we don't need to talk about that but you know I think that There's a lot that needs to be said about what's happening. And um, like Marvin Gaye said, all these songs that we used to listen to back in the day are still apropos for today. Honestly, they all bar all the confusion, what's going on, mercy, mercy me, all those things. Um, the other thing is, um, you know, with all these, the, the fire in California and, you know, the water in Puerto Rico and Jackson and Florida and Houston, it's just unbelievable. Uh, we got birds dying, falling from the sky. You know, it's just, it's a lot of stuff that's going on. Our, our earth is pretty, pretty perturbed with us, to say the least. Um, you know, people who don't like you, back to Donald Trump and President Barack Obama. You know, people be concerned a lot of times about whether or not people like them. And sometimes it's okay that people don't like you because you don't want everybody to like you. You know, everybody does not need to like you. And the people who don't like you, you should be happy that they don't like you because clearly it's not you that they don't like. It's something within themselves that they don't like. And you don't want everybody to like you. And people say, oh no, you guys should get together and you should try to be friends. You really should. Oh, love should be in the air for both of you. Well, sometimes it doesn't work that way. I have people who don't like me and I'm all right with that, you know, because they wouldn't be my friend anyway, you know. Um, and sometimes, you know, people say, oh, come together, come together, you know, work together. Well, you can't work with everybody because everybody's not workable, you know. I mean, it doesn't matter race, creed, or color, you know, but then your own race, there are people that you just are not going to be able to get along with because they're just not balance and they're just their their hearts and minds and souls and spirits are just not in the right place so 
Be happy if there's some people who don't like you. As long as they don't hurt you and put their hands on you, you're just going to do just fine. You ignore them. You don't need them. If they're not paying your rent, and if they're not buying you food, and if they're not putting clothes on your back, all those things that really matter, then you don't need them. I'm telling you, um, people will make up stuff about you even if it's not true. You know, And that goes from the big to the small. Right now, we're in a dark phase in this uh, world right now. Everything is dark. You know, the spirits are dark. The dark spirits are really busy. They're running around trying to grab hold to power. You know, speaking of power, how about this guy? Another guy with his, what's his name? Weinstein or whatever, this big, you know, entertainment guru. Um, one woman comes out, here comes another. Let me tell you something. It only takes one person to come out. When one person come out, same thing with no matter who it is. Oh, yeah, he did that to me, too. Oh, he did that. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want people to think. Okay. When somebody does something to you, don't be a coward. Don't be a punk. Don't be afraid to go and let somebody know that they did this to you. That's all I'm saying. You want to wait 20 years, 1,000 years later. And you know what they're going to say especially if they're a rich white guy, I'm a sex addict, you know, I'm a sex addict. Was Bill Cosby a sex addict? I don't know. Did they put him away into some place? I don't, I don't think they did. But everybody else needs to go to some kind of rehab for sex. When did, why all of a sudden now is this, this sexual addiction is going on? Is it because the women are wearing their dresses too too short? Is it because they're saying letting their boobs show? Is it because, what is it about? I mean, really, you know, is it the hot pants that they're wearing? <laughs> Wore hot pants, pants back in the 70s. Um, I don't get it. You know, listen, the truth of the matter is, is that when you have money and you have some kind of power to control people's lives, to make their lives either better or worse. Men have a tendency in general, and it could be women too, but men, particularly white men, have this thing about this power. And even if they're the ugliest duckling that's on the face of the planet, they could be, forget ugly, they could be just glee, okay? And they can get women. Women are coming to them. Women from other countries with the accents, you know, how they love the accents. They like to have someone who's exotic, you know, the exotic women, you know, coming from countries where men really just use them as just, they're just vaginas with feet, you know, to do whatever they want to do with them. So they come over here to the land of the free and the brave and everybody wants to get rich over here in America. We've heard so much about America. So basically people come over here because they're greedy. Some people are greedy. Um, they say, oh, they're here for a better life. And oh, don't tear the families apart. Well, basically it's okay, you know, but America's got its own issues. There's people living on the street. There's people that are homeless, people who don't, and now more so than ever. Because what do you think about these people whose houses are burned up? People whose houses have been, you know, swept away by the hurricane. So we can't take care of ourselves. Hello, America. <clears throat> you thought it was bad before. This is crazy now. That's all I have to say. So all I'm saying is, bottom line, don't be a punk. Don't be a coward. Stand up for what's right. Half the time we as black Americans, and I can tell you from my own personal experience, nobody stands up for you. You have to be out there by yourself. You got some friends. Quite a few of my friends are very powerful. Not powerful, but yeah, they're powerful to me. Um, but um, right on. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, you know, I surround myself with people who uh, have integrity and character and you know, they're outspoken. They say what they feel. They say what they mean and they mean what they say because that's how I am. I'm probably a little more over the top than the rest. You know, hey, I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. What do you want from me? Um, but the truth is, is that when you're a coward and a punk, and we got a lot of leaders who are cowards and punks, they don't stand for anything. So they'll fall for everything. You know, you can say something instead of them bringing the people to the table politically, no matter what it is, everything. People are just 
you got more followers than you have leaders in the world. Okay, people will just follow you around and they're starstruck. Oh, are you a politician? Oh, ooh, oh, they bow down and they want to kiss the ring and you know they want to be a part of the, those people's circles. You get over yourself, okay? Because most of the time, most of the time, some of the people, not all the people, but some of the people get into these p positions because they know they ain't got nothing else going for them. Okay, so if they have this, they can be able to have people come at them because they think they're powerful. But the only power that you really should be concerned with is the power of the Almighty God. He's the only one. So while you think these men and these women in these so-called positions, and let me tell you something, karma is a blip. What goes around comes around, and eventually you are going to be found out. Enjoy it while you can, because if you think that you're going to be able to get away with it, the universe sees you, God sees you, and you see you. So you know what you've done, you know what you're doing, and you know when it's not right, it's just not right, and you will pay for it. And that's just all I'm saying. So please get yourselves together because we really are living in the last days, I hate to say. We have left our children in just a, a heck of a mess. Mothers and fathers out here bringing children into the world, knowing they don't want to have anything to do with these children, knowing that they're not going to take the time to raise them, while other folks who could be wonderful parents don't even get to have children. You know, so, you know, again, the last days, what is good shall be looked upon as evil and what is evil shall be looked upon as, as good. And, you know, it's it's what's happening and it's coming from the top. Unfortunately, um, it's coming from the top and the top usually sets a precedence for what lower um, cities and towns and villages do. So if the person who's in charge of the nation is mean and evil, then people are going to think that it's OK to do that. But guess what? It's not. So you're going to have to pay. And I have never in my life of living not see anyone treat me badly where it has not happened. Something bad has not happened to them. And I'll tell you some of those stories and you won't even believe it because you can't make this stuff up. But anyway, in the meantime, I'm sure they're feeling good about whatever it is that they're doing that's causing pain to other folks and really... You know, some people get positions that they know they didn't deserve. They didn't work for it. They didn't earn it. And they don't deserve to be there. But when you are of a certain persuasion, it doesn't matter if you're a black person with any kind of degree, you know, they will not give it to you. You will be the first, the last hired and the first fired. And there won't be anyone coming after you, coming to even advocate for you. Even where I live, you know, you're all by yourself because nobody in these so-called groups that you pay your money to, they're not going to come out and advocate for you. They just don't do it because they're scared. OK, they may be getting like maybe a thousand dollars from the city or some, Ooh, you know, I got to do this because, you know, they're going to give me money. You know, you can do fundraisers and get money. You know, if you're doing it with the right heart and the right mind, OK, and you're doing it for all the right reasons, you should be able to raise the money. But you know what? People are vindictive and they're mean spirited. So try to separate yourself from those people. You know, really see them for who they are. Pay attention. If you're really a true child of the Most High God, you'll be able to be discerning and you'll be able to see that some spirits are just not right. Pay attention because half of us are asleep. And speaking of sleep, it's 1.51 in the daggone morning and I need to get up in the morning and I got to go talk to some kids. So I am going to let you guys go. And um, let me see. I downloaded some more music because I just love my music. I love it, love it, love it. But let me see what else I got. Do I have something else? Okay. Inner City Blues, honey. Marvin Gay. You don't know nothing about this. Please like the show, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends, okay? Help a sister out up in this piece. That's all I'm trying to say, okay? Let's get this party started. And let's start thinking a little bit more positive. I love you all, okay? Talk to you soon. Bye now.
Let me see if I can find the off button here. I know it's there. 